Okay, so as is usual, I'm rushing to do landscape photography. Uh, but the reason is, it has been, the weather's been absolutely dreadful in Geneva. I mean, dreadful. It's just, well, I mean, I say dreadful, I don't mean it's been cold. It's just been like really drab, extremely gray, rainy, just gross. Like the kind of weather you don't want to really go outside in. Now, this place that we're going, I'm probably going to accidentally say the name incorrectly, is Fort La Fouse. But I went a couple of days ago on a lark with my friend Jeremy. And the plan was, hey, you know, there's, there's no light but let's just go scouting and that way we can sort of have this location in our back pocket. And if it looks like over the next, you know, 10 to 15 days, there's going to be light, we'll be ready for it. We'll have a place to go. All right, so I was gonna go by myself, but my friend Jeremy called me as I was, of course I was leaving. I was like getting ready to drive out of the city, but being that I scouted this location out with him a few days ago, he did want to go. I couldn't very well just leave him behind. Hi everybody. I am coming to you from the trail, the final part of the trail that leads up to Fort Le Clouse. And you can see the fort at least a little bit there in the distance. Now, I'm not gonna be shooting the fort, but I will be at the fort shooting the landscape below. I might, I'd like to include the fort if I could find out how, and there might be a way, but it's gonna be locked, so we won't be able to get in, and wouldn't you believe it? Can't break it's, in a fort. Yeah, it's hard to, can't break in a fort. It's actually kinda hard to get in one. <laughs> All right, so I just got to the fort. I want to give you guys a quick lay of the land. So you can see Jeremy. He's going to what I'm calling like composition number one. And I think that's the light that we're going to lose first. So we're going to shoot that first. Composition two and three are this way. Now you can see we have a couple different options available to us we're going to come back to. One is to do kind of a tighter shot. You're trying to focus kind of on that bridge and then there's a little village kind of up here, the bridge here. And then the other composition is a bit of a wider shot in which you're trying to maybe also include this mountain in more of the whole scene. So we got, you know, three compositions to work with. Um, I'm gonna head over to composition number one now and walk you guys through that. We have time before the sun drops below the ridge, thankfully. Okay, so I am here at composition spot number one, just behind me. Um, I'm gonna flip this around. All this over here um, isn't lit up. So I wanna use this river to draw the eye over to where I do have light. And I'm hoping that with the polarizer and I can cut back on some of the haze and then zooming in, I can sort of bring, make that mountain, which is the Salev, by the way, that's Le Mont Salev. It's the one that's all over Geneva. Um, I'm hoping that I can make that a little bit bigger in the frame. So I feel like F9 is adequate for this scene, kind of focusing on the lower third. Let's go ahead and take the shot.
All right, and so I'm here for a second composition. I'm gonna flip this around, see if I can show you. A bit of an awkward spot, I'm on a hill. Um, just below the fort here, as you can see, looking down the valley. Right now, I'm adjusted for, well, I'm, I'm, comp I'm exposure compensated down for the highlights, but if I bring this back up, you'll be able to see. What I've done is I have the bridge on a lower third, the mountain on an upper third. I'm leaving this in here because I don't think it's it's really that distracting. It's sort of a nice piece of a foreground interest, I think. Um, and then there's some, some far distant mountains that the river are gonna lead the eye towards. Right now I'm shooting at about 20 millimeters. So let's go ahead and we're actually, the light's dropping right now. The sun is falling behind the mountain. So uh, I'm gonna expose or compensate down oh, a little over about two and a third stops. Go ahead and take an image. I'm at F11 just to preserve the highlights. Um, I'm gonna come up to minus one stop. I'm gonna do this as three different exposures. And then I'm gonna come up to just no compensation. Okay, now that you guys have seen those, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the final image. Jeremy, what kind of a photographer are you? <laughs> he said, I don't, you probably can hear me say that's a good question. I'm trying to turn him into a landscape photographer. I keep dragging him on all my land, well, not all of them, but as many landscape adventures as I can. Uh, all right, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed the compositions. I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little trip into France with me to Fort Le Clouse. Um, I think that the images were nice. There's a few elements that could have been a little bit better, but I'm not complaining at all. I think I'm gonna be happy with them once I assemble them. You already know, you've probably seen them, or you have seen them. Uh, all that being said, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. I hope that, uh, like I said, you enjoyed it, and I hope that you'll come back for more. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so that you can follow along with me as I continue to try and improve and enjoy landscape photography. Thank you very much and I will see you guys soon. Bye.